That day, the main character was searching for Sean together with her sister. The girls walked up the mountain together in search of the guy. Lana, don't worry. I'll check by the slope some more. There might be landslides there, so I'll try to finish quickly and you wait here, her older sister advised. That's exactly what she did. After a couple of minutes, the girl was already crawling down. But then, she abruptly felt her rope break. Tiana noticed that her sister did it intentionally, so the older sister only wanted to know the reason why Lana cut the rope off. Why? To kill you, of course. It's your fault I'm estranged from my family. I am their biological daughter. But your father and brother are the ones who love you. Why? Even Jacob only loved you. Why is that? The sibling was angry. As it turned out, the youngest daughter in the protagonist's family could never accept that Tiana had taken away everything that belonged to her. If only Tiana could make things right, she would stay away from people. And then she would live happily ever after. And so after a second, the girl opened her eyes as she heard a female voice that was already familiar to her. Sister, I've been looking for you. There are so many people gathered there. You don't want to ruin my high school life, do you? It was Lana speaking. It was hard to believe, but when the protagonist of this story put on her glasses, she saw the silhouette of her own sister in front of her. According to Tiana's observations, Lana looked younger. As it turned out, the girl really did not die. She even noticed that her burns were gone. But the reborn couldn't think about it for long. Lana was still demanding something from her. Sister, well, please, I guarantee you, this is just a normal assessment and will not affect the other students in any way. In turn, the younger sister continued to speak. That's when the protagonist remembered what was going on here. It was in the second grade of high school. Lana had been pestering her for a long time, and because her father was getting worse, Tiana had to agree to participate in an art assessment. Such events further confirmed that the girl was reborn. You don't want your little sister to be bullied for the remaining three years. We already come from a poor family after all. Plus, because of your eyes, said the younger sister. And the girl understood exactly where Lana was going with this conversation. She had heard her parents talk many times before about how they were poor because they needed to treat her eyes. But at the same time, Tiana didn't understand what art certification had to do with it. Obviously, it's a talent that might have gotten Jacob's attention. But it's all about getting the attention of a guy who's famous all over town. And so, then the host of the event announced into his microphone that the next performer was second-grade student Lana. The schoolgirl immediately started begging her sister to let Tiana come out instead of her. Immediately afterward, Lana changed the girl into beautiful clothes for the ladies. Sister, I asked a friend beforehand to use dim lights. Once your eyes get sore, just close them. You remember the keys, right? So everything will be fine. Go on, I'll leave it all to you. The student said lastly and pushed her sister straight to the stage. And now Tiana is standing here again, on the beautiful stage of the school. In her past life, Lana got too much publicity on this day and became a celebrity afterward, and also, it set Tiana us a lot of problems in the future. I have to think of something. Because Jacob is in the audience right now. That's all I was thinking at that moment as a heroine. And that guy was actually in the audience right now. He wasn't paying attention to the concert. He was just minding his own business playing cards with his friends. But that's when the music that was playing from the stage caught his attention. Jacob saw a beautiful pianist in front of him. Tiana felt at that very second that the bully was looking right at her. But to stay focused, she convinced herself that Jacob's gaze didn't matter. He doesn't know her, after all, and the girl is just filling in for her sister Lana. The other spectators were also marveling at the beautiful melody the girl was playing on the piano. After all, they thought that an eighth grader was sitting in front of them, and that Melody was not an easy one. Is she from our school? I don't think so. Our school is just a bunch of rich dumbasses. A girl who has money for all her wants is unlikely to be into this sort of thing, the bully's acquaintance thought. And the other guy noticed that the pianist looked talented and elegant, just like Jacob's mom. The guy himself also saw how good this girl's playing was. But he couldn't stand women like that more than anything else. Jacob, as in his previous life, had always been like that, hot-tempered and intolerant, and in the end, he ended up killing a man. In a past life, it was because Lana got attention and became a celebrity at school today. That got her in trouble. Tiana remembered. 
But in this life, the protagonist doesn't have the slightest connection to someone like him. She only wanted to break all communication between them. As soon as the music ended, the guy immediately started voicing out loud what he didn't like. How did she have the nerve to come out and embarrass herself? He said out loud, after which he asked his brothers to continue playing cards. Well, the game is okay, but I thought it was something special at first, however, it's actually just plain boring, interjected the other listeners. When Tiana returned to the backstage area, her sister suggested she change her clothes. Now that Lana was back in her aristocratic image, she decided to go out the back door. At that moment, the older sister decided to ask Lana if it was true that her sister hated her. What are you talking about, actually? How can I hate such a wonderful girl? I don't just love you, I love you very, very much, said Lana and smiled. Of course, it was a lie, and Tiana only realized this as she lived her life. Outwardly, the younger sister shows how much she loves Tiana, but deep down, she wished the oldest child in their family would die. I know she's only in such a hurry to find Jacob. The protagonist thought to herself as she watched her sister run for the exit. But the girl also knew that Jacob wouldn't be interested in faking it this time. There was no way he would pay attention to Tiana this time. Already after the play, the protagonist went outside. The rain had finally ended, though the world was still gray. Too bad I died without growing up in that life, thought the frustrated girl. But I can change everything now. The eye surgery was successful and in two months I will be able to see the sky and the sun again. I can do everything in this life clearly for herself, decided the protagonist. While Jacob was in a neighboring building, he noticed Tiana. The girl was dressed in a middle school uniform, and she was also wearing a passion for the blind. He was really surprised that she was blind, though he didn't show it. It was then that his brother approached the guy. Remember the girl who played the piano? She came up and said she wanted to be friends, narrated the schoolboy. Did you like her? If you want, you can play with her, replied Jacob coldly to him. At that, the boy still agreed to have the pianist come to them. And that's when the modest girl, who was dressed like an aristocrat, quietly walked into Jacob's office. Jacob, I admire you, immediately she said. Oh, well then tell me, what am I so wonderful at? Is smoking and fighting something to admire or killing people? Or maybe a teacher who is in the hospital because of my fault is something to admire? He asked rudely, though Lana immediately started telling him that she thought it was a misunderstanding. Supposedly, Jacob wasn't like that at all. You've seen my file, haven't you? Is neurasthenia a misunderstanding to you? Continued to answer that bully with coldness. It was obvious that they were completely uninterested in talking to the guest Lana. And Lana herself was very uncomfortable with the way they were talking to her. I've certainly heard he has a bad temper, but no one said he was sick. I've already gone too far. Lana thought and answered him that it didn't matter. You think I'd want to waste my time on you? Ugly, you must look like Charlotte from seventh grade school. Get out of here, ordered the emotionless guy. As soon as Lana left Jacob's room, she really thought about how pretty Charlotte from the seventh neighboring school was. Everyone said she was Jacob's girlfriend, but that's just a rumor, isn't it? But even if she is, in the world, some people are always replaced by others. It's all Tiana's fault if she didn't play that piano, Lana thought. At the same time, thinking back to Charlotte, Lana thought that her older sister was much more worthy of the role of girlfriend to Jacob, but luckily for Lana, the guy hadn't met Tiana yet. At this time, Tiana was walking to her house. On the way home, she was reminiscing about her past life. I've always walked this way. Plus, in my second year, Dad hasn't had an accident yet, which means I'll see him soon, the protagonist hoped. By pure coincidence, Jacob was also riding his motorcycle nearby. As soon as he noticed the girl he had seen before at school, he decided to stop right beside her. Seven, what were you doing at our school? Jacob asked immediately. In addition to the bad boy, his friends were also with him, which made Tiana herself even more confused. Jacob immediately told the girl to sit next to him on his bike. He promised he could give her a ride home. No money needed, I only care for the week, he added, which caused the others to laugh even more. These friends who were around the bad guy seemed even worse than Jacob himself. They constantly laughed at any attempt to show help in front of the weaker man, Tiana. The guy himself was taking a closer look at the blind girl. He noticed her loose school uniform and badge, 
Her thin neck looked as weak as if it would be blown away by the wind. From the looks of it, Tiana seemed like a model student. It was then that the boy asked her to show him what was in the lady's bag. When the blind schoolgirl unzipped her backpack, inside were textbooks and a bag of strawberries. Ah, strawberries, I remembered. When my dad found out that I like strawberries, he made an effort to grow them in the greenhouse. The girl thought at that moment, and the guy unceremoniously asked to give the berries to him. Tiana realized that it was better not to make him angry, so she reached for the container of strawberries without any problems. The bully's friends continued to silently watch it all from the sidelines. What a giveaway. She's humiliated and robbed, and she does not even get angry. That's the good one. The other boys whispered among themselves. Why don't you come closer or ask me and I'll come to you? Jacob answered her. In fact, the students were standing quite far away from each other, but Tiana didn't realize it. She decided to follow the boy's lead and silently placed the container of berries on the bike rack. After that, the girl turned away and walked off in the other direction to her bus. Why is her brother making fun of her, or is he just boosting his ego by making fun of a blind woman? And he seems to be mute, and mute and blind? Pity her. Jacob's friends continued to discuss quietly. Jacob took one strawberry and popped it into his mouth. I was delicious and ripe. But when his brothers asked him to give at least one berry, Jacob said it wasn't tasty and threw the container of food right into the trash can. Just then, she carefully placed the strawberries on the bike. Is she really blind, or is she faking it? Wondered bad boy Jacob then. In just a few minutes, Tiana had already arrived home. When she saw the familiar door, she finally realized that this was not a dream. The girl was finally home again. In the apartment, she met her brother Sean. Her stepfather's favorite Charlie was also home. How excited Tiana was to meet them. In a previous life, she and her mom were in a car accident, after which the woman passed away. Tiana had developed problems with her eyes. Daddy Charlie struggled to keep up with the three children, but never tried to abandon the girl. He always treated Tiana like family. Thank God for allowing me to come back and repay Papa Charlie for that kindness. I won't let him die again. He will surely live to a ripe old age, the protagonist assured herself. Keeping her beloved stepfather alive was already a kind of goal for Tiana's eldest daughter. The man immediately inquired about his child's school day. Tiana revealed that her sister Lana had already left for the party. Since I met Jacob, it means she couldn't please him. He hasn't treated Lana particularly well in the past either. What Tiana was actually thinking about at that moment was a high school senior. It was already evening when Tiana sat down at her desk to scrutinize the data on this new life. Her attention was caught by a student's. A photo taken in 10th grade. At that time, my eyes were terribly sore, and I couldn't adapt to the bright light. Thankfully, the teacher allowed to cover the soffit. It helped to relieve eye strain, the girl recalled. Tiana wanted to see her teacher and her classmates as soon as possible. The next morning, she was just about to meet her school friends. Nancy always helped the blind girl. She even corrected her hair to make Tiana look as good as possible. And when the protagonist, after being reborn, sat in class, she was madly happy that she could go to school again and hear the familiar voice of the teacher. The rustling sound of books being flipped through also very soothing to her. Tiana had already forgotten that she had graduated from high school. At recess, Nancy also decided to share the latest news. Charlotte doesn't attend classes at school, but she only goes to the neighboring tech school. Guess why? For a guy from there, who does she think she is? Imagine this. If you suddenly become the school's number one beauty, no one can treat you like a pig anymore. Take away her boyfriend and her pompousness will be gone. Isn't that fun? Nancy, a high school student, recounted. That's when other classmates joined in the gossip. One of the girls said Jacob was too rich. How do you say? Climbing high. You heard about the biggest real estate company in the country. His family owns it. He sent his teacher to a hospital bed last week and he wasn't even suspended from class. No wonder Charlotte is running after him. Narrated her friend. However, Tiana was also aware of Charlotte's visit to the school today. The girl assumed it was all about Lana having a conversation with the boy. Why did he hit the teacher? It's fine to be rich. You can bully all you want. But one day, society will repay you in kind. Inheriting such a competent fortune, you can make no effort and still not die in a ditch. The classmates continued to discuss amongst themselves. When Tiana returned home, 
she met her stepfather there. Tiana, can I bother you? Lana didn't come home yesterday, excusing herself with a sleepover at a classmate's house. She's all grown up now and I can't keep up with her. I'm worried about school, uh, as long as her first love doesn't get her into trouble. You're more sensible. Can you talk to her? The father asked his eldest daughter for help. At the same time, Tiana herself realized that if she went to her younger sister's school, she might run into this rich Jacob, since they were in the same school. Eh, hey, can't help it, I'll just hope that doesn't happen, thought the high school girl. And during their conversation with her classmates, Tiana abruptly stood up and decided to leave the office. The girl revealed that she wasn't feeling well. When Tiana was outside the 8th grade classroom, she heard her sister talking along with Charlotte. So what if you're Jacob's girlfriend? As far as I know, he didn't show up for your birthday, said Lana. He may not care, but I'm still his real girlfriend. Lana, are you just a kid for stealing boyfriends? Weren't you taught that taking other people's stuff is wrong? Charlotte answered her rudely. Just then, a blind Tiana burst into their office and walked over to her sister, took Lana by the hand, and led her towards the exit of the office. What are you doing? I can take care of myself. Go study your books. Her younger sister answered her when they were already outside. At that moment, Tiana revealed that their dad had confessed this morning that he was worried about Lana, and he couldn't keep up with all the kids. Even if you overpower this girl now, what are the others going to say? Jacob doesn't care about her? All of a sudden you will? The high school girl also added, Do your friends even know that it wasn't you who played the piano yesterday? How will you justify yourself when she reveals the truth to them? The older sister lectured. Lana actually slept over at Mary's last night, but rumor has it that Jacob likes Lana. So all the students around here think that this guy called Lana over to his place, and they frolicked all night. So Lana herself couldn't stand it and claimed that her sleepover at Jacob's place was just a rumor. That's when she asked her friend Mary to confirm it. Ha, no surprise there. Have you seen yourself in the mirror? Charlotte then said, turned around and walked away. At that, Jacob's girlfriend turned her attention to Tiana. The girl didn't understand why the blind schoolgirl was Lana's familiar. Sister, leave now. I don't want anyone to guess everything, asked Lana to her sister. Tiana didn't budge, so she really decided to leave. Maybe Lana and I have different goals, but we both don't want Jake to find out that I was the one playing the piano, thought the girl as she walked back to her house. While she was walking back home, a basketball accidentally flew into her. As it turned out, it was Jacob along with his brothers playing basketball. Tiana didn't want to stay there long, so she silently handed the ball over and decided to leave. Jacob did not want to say goodbye to the girl. He moved closer to the lady. Then he bent closer to her face to ask something. And why am I seeing you here? I? Why the silence? He said to the quiet Tiana. The girl couldn't stand this kind of pressure, took her cane blind, and with sharp movements of her hand tried to hit the guy. The thing was bad. Tiana didn't even realize what she was even doing. I don't think hitting girls is bad, just in case he said then. Tiana was only saved at that moment by Jacob's brother, who immediately ran up after what happened. Brother, come on, she's blind. She's probably an accident, said the guy. Tiana then had to apologize. I have light sickness, justified the girl before walking away. So she's not mute? That's a beautiful voice. Jacob's brother marveled as the older girl began to disappear from sight. If she's not mute, why didn't she talk to me earlier? Who does she think we are? The bully himself didn't understand. Brother, what were you trying to take away her glasses for? She's blind. Imagine if she had two holes instead of eyes, and how would you live after that? The guy's brother continued to escalate the situation. Sure, it was nonsense, but the girl was disabled, and as bad as Jacob was, he still had a conscience. You, what a scary story. Her eyes are just sore from the light. A third basketball player entered the conversation. The main character herself was already thinking about how unlucky she was. She had run into Jacob again. It's worth staying away from him. I'll have to be more careful from now on, Tiana thought. As she sat in class, she noticed the news that there was an Olympiad coming up. It was a national math olympiad for elementary and middle school students, and the prize for first place was a nice sum of money. If you think about it that way, Tiana's family is all in debt due to the expensive treatment of her blind daughter. And on top of all this, Tiana will soon get into an accident and will need even more.
As a result, the father will accept a dangerous job closely related to radiation. Therefore, the girl thought it would be a great idea to make some money. Therefore, Tiana asked Nancy to submit a form to participate. Do you want to sign up? Tiana, are you familiar with their program? Nancy's classmate inquired. There was a case once when I was a kid, so I want to try my hand at it, the main character confessed. Still, it's a decent amount of money. To prevent her father from working with radiation, the reborn Tiana should avoid the accident to begin with. She decided to find a way to earn more money, but her father would be against it, so that his daughter would not neglect her studies for the sake of earning money, and Tiana herself knew it very well. Then she asked her classmate Nancy if there was anything else to do besides the Olympics. Nancy told her that there was an English Olympiad, but it was on summer vacation. It was really too late for Tiana. But I heard that for the open house, there will be a lot of school activities at the neighboring school, however. Because of Tiana's eyesight, I think she is not capable of dancing or playing the piano. Thought at that moment, the protagonist's classmate. Therefore, Nancy never got to tell her about it. When the lessons were over and the girls went outside, they noticed that there was a heavy downpour. Hey, no one brought an umbrella either. Well, I'll ask my dad to pick us up after work then, said Tiana's friend. Tiana, do you know the neighborhood nearby? I haven't been there either, but I heard they spend thousands in a day there. Nancy also then started the conversation. By the way, did you hear? Jacob didn't go to Charlotte's birthday party, and then she told me that Jacob called them all to hang out in that neighborhood. Told Nancy the latest news. I think it's obvious Charlotte is just showing off to everyone, but still, Jacob really is rich. Eh, hey, except we don't stand a chance against Charlotte's beauty. Nancy's classmate finished speaking with a sad sigh. Just then, to the girl's surprise, a car pulled up to the school. As soon as the front window opened, Jacob's face appeared in the car. Is the security guard all right? Why did he let them on the school grounds? Nancy didn't understand. At that time, Charlotte, along with her girlfriends, came out of the neighboring school building. As it turned out, Charlotte's school girlfriends were on their way to Jacob's brother Xander's car. Jacob's girlfriend got into the car right next to her boyfriend, though you could tell by the look on his face that he wasn't too happy about it. Hey you there, get in, I'll give you a ride to the bus stop. Get in, don't make me tell you a third time, said Jacob. But Tiana along with Nancy didn't want to ride in the same car with such a bully, so they defiantly refused. You're that student with bad eyesight. Come on, get in, come on. That's when Charlotte also started coaxing. Tiana had no other choice left, so she stopped resisting. Apparently until I get in the car, he won't move, the girl thought at that moment. During the car ride with Jacob, Tiana had been thinking about how it had all happened. She had tried to avoid him in this life, but somehow he had stuck around. Now they were staying in an expensive neighborhood far from Tiana's house. The schoolgirl thought about the fact that she wouldn't be able to leave in a cab because she simply wouldn't have enough. This once again indicated that she had to follow Jacob to some establishment. As soon as Jacob stepped inside, he was greeted by the employees there. Don't you dare look down on us. Just relax. Jacob thought at that moment when he saw Tiana behind him. It's immediately obvious how much he doesn't care about my opinion. So much so that he won't rest until he gets what he wants. Tiana also thought at that moment, and she really had to go there. Charlotte, along with her friend, stood silently on the sidelines. Then the girl told her classmate the unpleasant news. Charlotte, never mind. I just talked to Xander and I found out that that blind girl just punched Jacob. Not only is she blind, but she's ugly. He's not going to like her. The girl comforted her friend. The guys went to a private room in the bar. While the guys were chatting among themselves, Jacob noticed how Tiana, though she was sitting with the other girls, wasn't talking to anyone at all. She looked like a typical honors student. To lighten things up, Jacob suggested that they all play together. Naturally, everything is for a reason. The loser will be punished. Let's play seven, the boy suggested. As soon as he said the name of the game, without even explaining the rules, Jacob called out the first number. The point of the game was that you couldn't name numbers divisible by seven, or you'd lose. Right after Jacob, the girl who was sitting next to him also named a number. It happened to be Tiana's turn. Tiana didn't even know she was participating. Modest lady, you are due for punishment, the guy then informed. Tiana reiterated again that she didn't know she was participating. After that, 
The girl clapped her hands a couple times. This made Jacob's friends burst into laughter. Haha, who's late first and claps later? Xander asked, and everyone around them continued to laugh. No, that's why go get the punishment paper. Hurry or you'll miss all the fun, ordered Jacob. With that, Tiana pulled out the paper. Then another girl ran up to her to help her read the assignment. One had to make eye contact with the opposite sex for ten seconds. Whoa, but she's blind. What a terrible assignment. Whoever gets it is going to hate it. The other bar patrons chattered amongst themselves. Tiana didn't know where to go to sit. But then Jacob pointed to the seat next to him. Sit here, since they're getting cold feet. I'm the only one here, said the boy. I don't think I'll make it home tonight if I don't indulge his wishes. Sounded in the girl's head at that moment, and she did head towards Jacob. Tiana also asked to keep her glasses on since she had vision problems. It was obvious that the girl was scared because her knees were trembling. But still, it was time to look into each other's eyes. And when Jacob looked into Tiana's eyes for a minute, he noticed tears coming to her pupils. Immediately after this contest, the boy got up and told Tiana that he was taking her home. Don't cry, I didn't do anything horrible. He also added, Jacob really felt sorry for poor Tiana, especially because she was blind. In fact, Tiana's tears are natural in this situation since her eyes hurt. But it's even better if Jacob got it all wrong. Maybe he'll finally let them go. Now Xander announced that he and his brother would take the girl home. Nancy had to go separately, which the schoolgirl herself was upset about. Don't worry, our houses are in different directions anyway. It is clear that we do not live in the same house. So thus, they want to take us as soon as possible so that parents do not worry, Tiana reassured her friend. It was time to go with Jacob. Charlotte, Jacob's girlfriend, was watching from the sidelines. She was very hurt that her boyfriend hadn't even looked in her direction all day. We're kind of dating, but it's not really happening. I'm just tailing him. He just never says anything against it. Jacob, what's going on in his head? Charlotte wondered. Charlotte couldn't take it anymore and ran straight to her boyfriend. She hugged him and told him to come back soon. Jake was now riding alone in his car with Tiana. On the way, the guy wanted to ask her where she lived. When Tiana informed him that he could drop her off at any stop, the guy thought she didn't want to mess with him. But that wasn't even a big deal, since it was already obvious. You think I give up on you like that? He added. Since it was raining outside, the guy decided to throw his jacket over Tiana's head. Are you going to come again? Or do you dislike my character that much? He asked then, but the girl only remained silent. Hey, smart one, what's your name? But Tiana still didn't answer him anything. All the guy could do was to discreetly pull out her student ID card from her pocket. Afterward, Jacob suggested that they get into the car together. Tiana was so unable to answer him that she just silently handed him her jacket and walked away to the bus. Jacob stood at the bus stop, seeing Tiana off, holding her student ID card in his hand. He recognized her name now. When he was already at home, Charlotte came to him. The girl offered to play billiards together, but Jacob himself again refused. And then Charlotte noticed a student card of the seventh school on the floor. When she picked it up, she noticed the pictures of the blind, quiet girl. Charlotte didn't understand how Tiana's card ended up in Jacob's pocket. She immediately took it to Xander to brag about her find. Ha ha ha, that's the blind one. I'm going to die laughing at the sight of her. Just then, Jacob's brother started laughing. The other guys joined in the fun as soon as they saw the schoolgirl's student ID. Hey, check it out. It's better to have no eyes at all than to have eyes like that. What a freak. They look so unrealistic, like they were glued on. The boys continued to laugh. Jacob couldn't stand to listen to such mockery and slapped his friend. Jacob would have beaten the boy further if his brother hadn't dragged the bully away in time. Now the landlord ordered his friend to get out of here. Charlotte then handed her boyfriend his jacket to put his student ID back in his pocket. The second Jacob decided to tell Charlotte that it was over between them, he dumped his girlfriend. Charlotte, you were well aware of the relationship we were in. Did you have any interest in me other than my family? Jacob asked. It was obvious that the girl had nothing to say. All she could say was that she didn't want Jacob to regret his decision. It was obvious that he didn't care about Charlotte. The now angry girl left the room. Jacob's friends were shocked at this behavior. No matter how bad a person he was, still always his actions were unpredictable. Why did Jacob get so upset? Everything was fine, wasn't it? 
His brother Xander didn't understand. The next day, the protagonist sat in the hospital with her eyes rewound. And it's all because I'm a terrible father, and I didn't get here in time to pick you up. I wouldn't have been late, and you wouldn't have gotten an infection by getting caught in the rain, said the stepfather to his child. Though Tiana herself tried to convey to the man that it wasn't his fault at all, it was just that she herself should have been more careful. Besides, the doctor assured me that after a couple days of medication, everything will be fine. Don't worry so much. Come on, let's go home already, suggested the girl. When they arrived at their home, they noticed Lana on the bed, who was on the phone listening to gossip. Just then, the girl was talking about Charlotte breaking up with Jacob. Listen carefully, no relationship, don't even think about it, okay? You're still studying and studying should come first for you. Without a good university, your life will be hard. As soon as word gets to me about something like this, consider you don't have a father, the man stated sternly. Just as Lana started apologizing to her dad and telling him that she would never do such a thing, her stepfather also added that the same goes for her older sister. I won't fall in love too soon, Tiana promised. On Monday, Nancy noticed that her friend didn't have her student ID. Tiana confessed that she had lost it. What's there to do? Fanny's teacher is going to be furious. She'll deduct points from the class for not having it. On top of that, as punishment, she'll make you run. Nancy was frightened. But Tiana thought it was better to be punished than to humiliate herself in front of Jacob to get her student ID back. As soon as Mrs. Fanny approached the schoolgirl, she immediately noticed the absence of the student's ID. The woman informed her that she would deduct a small amount of points from Tiana's class. It was worth getting used to, the perennial problems with Elizabeth and Luna, so now Tiana is also being dragged to the same degree? Maybe she just forgot. So she'll have to run after class? Will her eyes be okay after a kilometer and a half of running? The other classmates of the protagonist whispered among themselves and worried that she should run a kilometer and a half after school, and also, for your oversight, I will deduct three points from you head teacher. Be sure to supervise, declared the strict teacher. That same day, the girl went to run a marathon. That was also when she met a motorcyclist who was passing by. It was actually Jacob, who was at a meeting with his friends. There's a lot of running in the seventh school. I've heard it's such a punishment for trespassing. I wonder what she did wrong, one of the boys asked. Jacob was also curious about what had happened, so he ordered his friends to go and find out what was going on. Bro, I heard from a girl over there. They got some sick people working here. If they don't show their student ID card, they get fined and punished by running a certain distance. If you ask me, we're a fire school. Why do we need such stupid rules? Shared one of the boys. At this time, Tiana herself was already sitting on a rock as she rested from running. She had barely recovered enough to catch her breath. It turned out that the lack of any physical activity was very much affecting her body. In the days when Tiana went dancing, she had no trouble running two kilometers without panting. A man's voice distracted her from her personal thoughts. It was Jacob addressing Tiana by name. As soon as he got closer, he put her student ID card around her neck. Now he knew about the punishment from their school, after all. However, the distance between these guys at that moment was very small. The atmosphere was slick. Come to think of it, if Tiana had been interviewed about what a girl's opinion of Jacob was after being reborn, that question would have made her think twice. Of course, someone would want to hear the answer, too. And Tiana would probably tell her that Jacob is very scary, even a little intimidating. Taking strawberries is not a sign of friendliness. He calls everyone stupid, but he's obviously not stupid himself. Yeah, in an interview like this, the outcome would have been the same. Back to reality, Tiana continued to sit while Jacob stood right above her. For some reason, it seemed to the girl at that moment that the guy was very angry today. Even though she didn't know the reason for it, she still thought it was better not to provoke him. That was why. Tiana decided to apologize, just apologize for no reason. Jacob even thought about the fact that the schoolgirl hated him. Brother, this Tiana is the first in terms of grades in the seventh school, and like her class too. Everyone in it is a candidate for free university tuition. Look, those honors girls only rely on themselves, so they often pick on bullies like us. That's when Xander intervened in the conversation. And the thing Jacob didn't like the most was the way Tiana looked down on him, according to him. 
The girl couldn't say anything in response to his admission, and so she walked away in silence again. Jacob was left standing alone, more enraged than ever. Who gives a shit about you anyway? The guy continued angrily. While Jacob was smoking nearby, he was seen by the other girls in the school. Like any other girls in their neighborhood, the students began to admire the handsome boy's looks. That being said, they still knew Jacob was a psycho. Xander saw his brother's bad mood, so he offered to play together. And when the boy suggested out loud that that blind girl had hurt his friend, Jacob got even more angry. You mention her one more time and you're a dead man. Jacob promised the bully. Jacob realized he shouldn't get involved with Tiana because she'd made it clear that she didn't want him at all. The boys went to play in the sports field to unwind. Jacob stood there dressed in his bulletproof vest. The game was on. In a couple of minutes, Xander's defense was already covered with pink spots. The game had just started, and yet so many people were already dead. And when the guy personally looked out from under the pillar he was hiding behind, he spotted Jacob with a gun in his hands aiming right at his friend. The guy didn't even care that they were on the same team. Jacob aptly shot right at Xander. What's wrong with you, Jacob? Are you not in the mood? Or did you not like the game? The other friends didn't understand. That said, the guys already had an inkling that this behavior might be because of that blind girl. I don't play like that. Brother, you've already knocked everyone out. Why shoot at your own? Still didn't understand Xander. When the guys were in the break room, they were greeted by a friendly receptionist. She immediately went to Jacob to offer him cigarettes. Hello, Jacob. My name is Katie, and I'm in 11th grade, 7th school. The lady said hello. As it turned out, she was the top student in her class. She tried to strike up a friendly conversation, but the guy only threw her out of the seating area with rude words. He believed that the girl was only lying. The other friends still didn't understand what was going on. Katie is a beautiful girl, after all, and she has a great personality. Then Xander remembered that Tiana was the best in her class, only she was in 10th grade. And now the boy came to the same conclusion again. It's been a few days since Tiana and Jacob last met. Luckily for her, a lot of things are different here than in her past life. In her previous life, Lana had caused a lot of trouble that Tiana had gotten in trouble for. The rumors only died down when Tiana got better. As a result of the surgery, the doctor forbade her from attending school, even with sunglasses. But soon, Lana got in trouble at school. And that's when Tiana met Jacob for the first time. It was then that Jacob realized that Tiana was playing the piano that day. And the girl herself realized even then how much Jacob liked Lana so Tiana thought he was just messing with her. Tiana took her sister under her arm and led her away. I remember thinking, he's easy to talk to until I saw him in anger. It was at that moment that I realized how wrong I perceived him to be, thought the protagonist. Tiana was still hoping that in this life, Jacob hated her. Whatever the case, at this moment, the high school girl needs to prepare well for the Olympiad. Tiana may be capable, but they say that one girl from the 11th grade, Elizabeth, takes first place every year, and she'll participate this year too, said another classmate, which made Tiana push herself. Maybe it's just a rumor, of course, but they were seen together two days ago. It's clear even to a dumbass. Elizabeth will do her best to win the Olympics so that she can show off in front of Jacob, the girl reported. Tiana, of course, didn't care about that. She cared about something else. She could get the money simply by winning a prize. It would be enough to help Sean's father, but if Tiana won first place, she would get more money. On Friday, while the main character was standing at the bus stop, a car with Jacob and his brother pulled up in front of her. Xander offered to give the girls a ride home. I have an important math Olympiad tomorrow morning, so I'd rather stay at a hotel nearby for the night. Once I win, I'll show you something, said the girl. That's when the driver of the car himself, Jacob, noticed Tiana standing nearby. The guy thought that the girl still didn't care about anyone. Tiana herself also felt the guy's stares. The other high school girl told him that her Olympiad would be held tomorrow at 9 in the morning at the center, near the art museum. She also named the street where the event would take place. And Jacob confessed to his brother that he wanted to go there. I'll see the extravaganza fail, said the kid. And so the very day of the Olympics began. Tiana was already at the art museum. At that time, the protagonist noticed that Jacob and his friends had arrived. It was obvious that the guard was not going to let the hooligans through. And it was not surprising. Even other schoolchildren noticed that the guys looked like gangsters, 
The guard had the right not to let such guys inside. And when Xander heard the bad guy's looks being discussed by some of the other students, he almost got into a fight if his friend hadn't stopped him. Jacob himself simply said that he had come here to support his friend. Then Elizabeth rushed over to the guys. As soon as she spotted the guys she knew, she immediately ran towards them. Uncle, these are my friends. Will you let them in? Uncle, I've taken first place several years in a row. Can't my friends pass? A high school girl started to persuade the guard. The guard answered her that it was possible to let the guests in as spectators. But phones had to be turned off, and no noise or smoking was allowed. What the hell is this? We just came to watch, and they're trying to put us behind bars? Why such conditions? Brother, let's leave, shall we? Xander started to get indignant, but Jacob was already getting ready to go inside. It's okay. You can stay here if you don't want to, said the other friend. But still they walked into the museum all together. As soon as Jacob saw Tiana, he decided to sit next to her, even though there were a lot of empty seats around. Other people looked at the guys. Such a handsome boy chose to sit with a quiet girl named Tiana. Hey, smartass, didn't they teach you to say hello to people you know? Still as indifferent as ever. Strangers? You don't even know my name? Jacob interrupted the silence. When the girl said his name quietly, it made the boy smile. But still, the dialogue didn't work. After a couple minutes, other acquaintances approached the guys. That's when Tiana met her main competitor, Elizabeth. I don't think you've been told, but you can't wear watches and sunglasses during the Olympics. Take them off beforehand, advised Elizabeth. Thank you for your concern, but those aren't sunglasses. They're photochromic. I have vision problems, told the protagonist. So there you have it. But doesn't Jacob think it's weird? 11th grader Elizabeth thought at that moment. After a couple minutes, the participants were informed that the Olympiad would start soon. Please take your seats. Keep quiet. You have exactly 150 minutes for everything. No cheating. If you are caught, the punishment will be severe. Begin, reported the training center. Xander thought at that moment that this place was worse than prison. Also, the guy decided to ask his friends who they thought would win, Elizabeth or Tiana. Xander even offered to place bets. It's Thanksgiving today, right? There should be vanilla ice cream for sale outside. How about the loser buys the winner an ice cream? Suggested the guy. That suggestion sounded tempting. I think Elizabeth will win. It's not that I don't believe in Tiana, but they say the Olympics aren't easy. Besides, from Elizabeth's words, she has been preparing for the Olympics for eight years, and for several more years in a row she has remained a champion. Told his opinion by one of his friends. Well, geez, what's the point of the bet then? If you think Elizabeth will win too, said Xander. Then he decided to ask his brother what he thought about it. Jacob coldly replied that he didn't care at all. Thank you all for participating. After a couple hours, we were able to check everything out. I now have in my hands the list of winners according to the committee. Let's get started. The presenter announced after a while. The tension between the schoolgirls increased. I announce this year in this year's middle school Olympiad third place goes to Dixie. Congratulations, a woman announced. Immediately afterward, the presenter announced that second place went to Elizabeth, who scored 136 points every year. How is that possible? Every year I have won, so why am I in second place this time? If I'm in second place, who took first place? Elizabeth didn't understand and was upset. Then the head judge announced that Tiana had won first place with 142 points. At that moment, Jacob smiled proudly. It was obvious that he was actually happy for the girl. Immediately after the results were announced, the guy left the room. As soon as it was over, Elizabeth decided to walk up to the winner to congratulate her for doing so well. Of course, Elizabeth was actually quite upset. And why couldn't I win? I've seen tons of people like Tiana, poor simpletons with decent grades. But why is it that just when I colored in front of Jacob and assured that first place was mine, I came in second? I'll remember you, Tiana, sounded in Elizabeth's mind at that moment. After the Olympics were over, Tiana went out for some fresh air. That's when she met Jacob. The guy had an ice cream in his hands, which he immediately offered to the lady. I saw everything at the Olympics. Take it, said the bad guy and held out the cone to Tiana. Just try to refuse. Also stated the guy once the girl wondered if she should take the ice cream from his hands. In fact, ever since the main character's mom died, Tiana couldn't think of buying something she loved. 
something so beautiful. That said, the girl still didn't understand why Jacob had given her a gift. Does he really like me like he did in my last life? Tiana's schoolgirl thoughts flashed through her mind. That's when she decided to directly ask why the guy bought the ice cream. Why? Because I lost a bet, so eat it before it melts, explained Jacob. After that, the guy decided to ask if the schoolgirl had good grades. As soon as Tiana told him that her grades were average, the guy immediately laughed. At this point, Tiana stated that she was going home. And when Jacob offered to personally drive her in his car, the girl didn't agree either. His friends and Elizabeth watched from the sidelines. When Tiana left, Elizabeth personally approached Jacob. You didn't come to the event because of me, right? You came to see her. Everyone in our school knows her eyes. But no sooner had Elizabeth finished speaking than Jacob shut her up. Jacob's friends themselves were off to the side thinking about whether or not their friend might actually like Tiana. When the bus doors were ready to close, Jacob stepped on the doorstep. He went on that particular bus because Tiana was on it. The driver immediately ordered him to pay the fare. He had to buy a ticket. When Jacob gave the driver a large sum of his own money, Tiana felt ashamed. The machine doesn't give change, and if Tiana had paid for it, he wouldn't have wasted it. After the guy paid the fare, he went back to Tiana and stood next to her. During sharp turns, the guy even held Tiana's hand. The girl immediately demanded to let her go. If I let go, can you resist? You better be quiet. Jacob answered her and continued to hold the lady's hand. After Tiana got off at her desired stop, the boy walked along with her. Jacob also noticed that the girl wasn't eating ice cream, so he couldn't stand it and took it away and threw it in the trash. And why is he so oppressive? If he wants it, he gives it to me. If he wants it, he throws it away. I don't care. I'm not going to keep in touch with him anyway. The protagonist thought at that moment. At the same time, because Tiana felt guilty in front of the guy, she asked Jacob to pull out his hand. After that, the girl handed him a candy bar. The guy got carsick on the bus, and Tiana had just the mint with her. At this point, the girl said goodbye to Jacob and walked towards home. But right after the girl thought about leaving, Jacob decided not to let her go. He grabbed Tiana by her arms to ask what was wrong with her eyes. Tiana told him that she had been in a car accident and it just so happened that her eyesight was affected. Because of the glare in her eyes, Tiana is temporarily unable to see. So Jacob asked her to close her eyes and let him see. Tiana immediately started to refuse. The girl thought her eyes looked ugly. Tiana, do you expect me to believe that? Jacob said then. Still, the guy decided not to talk her into it. So after a couple minutes, Tiana went home already. Right after she left, the guy ate her mint. Didn't see it, so I didn't. Obviously, there's not some heavenly beauty there. The guy continued to console himself. When Tiana got home, she handed her father the gift. It's a reward for first place in the math Olympiad. Please, father, keep them, said the eldest daughter. Tiana won. We are so proud of you. You better buy yourself some clothes with this money, advised the stepfather. But the girl told him that she had enough pocket money, so she insisted that the man take her winnings. Still, Sean told the child to keep it. After all, a man is capable of providing for his children on his own. But Tiana was stubborn. She put the card on the table for her daddy to pick up and decided to retire to her room. Oh, that child. Okay, then I'll put this money away at interest, and when I need it, I'll take it. Still, the man decided. Papa Sean, we need to think about how to make more money to help him, because winning from the Olympics will obviously not be enough. The girl thought and began to think about how she could make more money. Then an idea came to her. Tiana took out a piece of her jewelry box that she hadn't seen for a long time. It was a pendant with a picture of Tiana with her mom on it. Mom, if I hadn't been in that competition, there wouldn't have been an accident, and Mom would still be alive if she hadn't protected me. The protagonist thought sadly. The next day, after school, Tiana was talking along with her friend Nancy about the recent events. Tiana, you're the best of the best. Let them say that Elizabeth is prettier than you and that winning doesn't matter. Don't listen to those stupid boys, how annoying they are. Nancy soothed her classmate, but everything really was fine. The main character didn't care about that. Her main goal now was to help her dad because now Tiana only cared about making money. Reborn, after all, knew that after years, housing prices would skyrocket, but her father had already sold the house. 
The house they live in is rented to families in distress. When the girls were walking near the school, they happened to notice Charlotte. Since Nancy liked to discuss other people, she suggested that her friend go over to the boy's house to see what was going on. As it turned out, it was Jacob who was talking along with his ex. Jacob, I'm begging you. I will listen to you. I will never do anything rash again, okay? Charlotte asked him, but the guy only senselessly asked her to walk away. Already a whole crowd had gathered to watch these guys' relationship. Tiana clearly didn't like all of this, so she begged her friend to get out of here. Tiana, wait a bit. You just look at this. Jacob is even looking down on Charlotte. I don't get it. Who could he possibly like Elizabeth or something? Curious Nancy answered her. Meanwhile, the young boys continued to quarrel. Jacob, do you really like Elizabeth? She's a great student, and she's like the moon to me. Jacob, doesn't everything that's happened between us mean anything to you? Charlotte continued to scream. And at that moment, to prove to the girl that she wasn't looking her best, Jacob pulled out a picture pendant. Charlotte, your brother is tired of you, so don't show your face to him again. That's who he likes, and you fall short. Isn't she pretty? Many times better than you, affirmed Xander. How big was Tiana's surprise at that moment? It was her gold medallion. But the girl had no idea how the pendant had gotten into Xander's hands if the jewelry was in a box. It was only after Charlotte had gone that Nancy proposed to go. The girl thought there would be something interesting, but she found the situation boring. Jacob himself decided to ask his brother where he got the thing in the first place. As it turned out, the girl who played the piano, or rather Lana, had given the trinket to Xander. The guy didn't even realize there would be a picture inside. Bro, are you really not even going to look at it? The girl in the photo is so beautiful, like an angel. Very cute, said Xander, and held out this pendant to his friend to show the picture. As soon as Jacob looked at the photo, he noticed the uncanny resemblance to Tiana. The guy didn't realize that she was actually the one in the photo. Now Tiana apologized to her friend and said that she urgently needed to go home. When the protagonist came to her house, she immediately checked in her room the box where the pendant was supposed to be. The box was opened and everything scattered, and the locket and dress were stolen. It was the last dress made for Tiana by her mother, so the girl wanted to be sure to return it. Immediately afterward, she headed to her little sister's room. As soon as Lana opened the door to her sister, Tiana immediately asked her to return the dress and locket. What are you talking about, sister? What dress? What locket? I don't understand. Lana started to show herself to be a fool. And after all, this was Tiana's younger sister, whom in turn the girl herself had been very fond of in her past life. If I hadn't tried to save her, she wouldn't have been disfigured. Now I blame myself for caring for her all my life and never once doubting her. No more, no more concessions. Clearly decided for herself by the reborn. You like Jacob, and that's why you took my locket to him so you could rise in his eyes, Tiana said then. And the girl's assumption did sound like the truth. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? You may be my sister, but what kind of baseless accusations are these? If you keep this up, I won't vouch for myself. By now, Lana had already shifted to yelling. This dress was a gift from my mother before she died, and the locket held our last photo together. I can forgive you for everything but that, her older sister explained to her. At that moment, Lana was very surprised by this behavior of Tiana. The girl acted as if she had been replaced. Now it was time to come clean. There was no getting away from the truth anyway. Yes, I took it, so what? I went to a birthday party and decided to borrow it, can I? Do you think that if I had such a beautiful dress, I would need something from you? The younger sister admitted. Aren't your eyes the reason our family is so poor? Dad makes good money, but all the money goes to pay off your debts. Lana also added. Her words read true resentment towards her sister. Lana, I remember everything I owe my father, except that I don't owe you anything. You already got almost everything I had. I knew how to play the piano. You wanted to, too. But the family could only afford to educate one child, so I gave in to you. I switched to dancing, just as you did. And again, I gave up lessons in favor of you. That didn't stop me from practicing on my own. Whereas you, unable to bear the pain in your muscles, gave up after a month, Tiana told me. Sister, if you don't return my stuff, I'll ask Jacob for it myself. Also, added the protagonist, do whatever you want. But if you complain to daddy, I'll tell him you'll endanger his own daughter.
replied Lana to her, and after that slammed her door. The following evening, after school, Tiana went to Lana's school with the intention of asking for her dress back. She thought that she would not make a fuss and would return the dress quietly and peacefully. But what Tiana hadn't expected was for her sister to skip school and go to Jacob's birthday party. Girl, I'm sorry, but we can't let you in uninvited. The staff stopped her. I'm Jacob's friend, too. I'm just a little late, said Tiana, the girl at the front desk, as if she could see the student was lying. Nevertheless, Tiana needed to get that dress back by any means necessary. However, Lana wouldn't be Lana if she didn't get her in trouble. That's when Tiana decided to take off her glasses and again explained to the staff that she was really Jacob's friend. Afterward, the employee called Xander directly to tell her about the guest. As soon as Jacob himself heard that his brother had gotten a call from Tiana, the guy bet all his money to buy Xander's cell phone. At that same time, the guy asked the employee to tell him that the elevator was broken, so Tiana had to take the stairs. Miss, the gentlemen are on the fifth floor. You can join them, but unfortunately the elevator is broken, so you'll have to take the stairs, narrated the man. The protagonist went towards the stairs without any problem. Right after the guest left, the colleague decided to ask the man why he told her the elevator was out of order. How would I know? He doesn't report his plans to me. Besides, don't you know? Mr. Jacob is a little sick and unable to control his emotions, the hotel employee explained. As Tiana was going upstairs, she accidentally bumped her head into Jacob's. She immediately asked him if she had hit him hard. The boy immediately noticed how much the schoolgirl was afraid of him. So he decided to lie that he was in terrible pain. Tiana tried to explain to him that she didn't do it on purpose, but he only interrupted the girl. What, a model student flew into me on her own and she refuses to admit it? Is that what they teach you in school? He decided to ask. In seventh school, we are not only taught the importance of admitting our own mistakes, but we are also taught the importance of being lenient. Tiana tried to convey to him. But the boy only laughed in response. He was too dumb to realize it anyway. I remember very well what Jacob did in front of me in that life, namely killing people, and extremely brutally. He's too dangerous, we shouldn't make him angry. The reborn thought at that moment and decided to apologize again. She explained again that she hadn't done it on purpose, and even held out her hand for him to hit her back. And at first, Jacob even considered swinging to hit Tiana's palm. But at the last second, the guy changed his mind. Whatever. Light me a cigarette and forget it, he decided to say. The guy also told the schoolgirl to come closer. His temper was still just as terrible. But if Tiana refused, he wouldn't let her go upstairs. Therefore, she still helped him light a cigarette, after which the girl immediately ran away. That's when the guy realized he shouldn't cross paths with her anymore. Jacob can't look at her anymore, or else what he's so afraid of will happen. In the Demon City, King Jacob informed the poor guy that his country's warriors were too weak. It's been a month and a half now, and still no one has saved the lad. Now the Earl had had enough of waiting. And finally then, a girl with insanely beautiful eyes entered the King's office. She demanded the man to let her brother go immediately. Huh, well finally someone has come to rescue you. I hope at least you will dispel my boredom, said the Earl. And with his magic power, he ripped the sword out of the Savior's hands. But this is quite entertaining. I can let your brother go, said the emperor. But that was only on the condition that someone would replace him. Therefore, Jacob suggested that the girl stay with him. You asshole, I haven't lost yet, said the defender and started punching the guy in the face with her fists. When Jacob opened his eyes, he found himself in his room. It was just a dream. Right after that, his brother came to the guy. I opened the most popular romance novels among the girls so you can get some use out of it. I guarantee that Tiana will be yours. Brother, trust me. Let's give it a try. Xander continued to suggest. Jacob didn't even know why he believed this nonsense. One day, Lana's classmate mentioned in front of her that Lana could also dance. So the friend asked Lana to dance at least once to please them. Dance! I'm not Tiana. What can I do? As soon as I start crooning, my lies will immediately become obvious. How can I get out of it? I'm definitely not allowed to dance. The protagonist's younger sister thought hysterically at that moment. If my clothes get dirty, then no one will ask me to dance. Although if I soiled my dress, the rag can be washed, and from the shame is still not a fact that washed off. The girl also reasoned logically. 
In addition, at that moment she noticed her sister nearby. Lana didn't understand how Tiana was even here. They don't let just anyone into this event. Lana, I'll give you five minutes to change and return your dress. If you'll excuse me, can you give me the locket you showed me yesterday? Tiana asked then. Lana immediately took her sister's hands and asked them to step back together for a bit. Sis, I know you're the best. Lend me the dress for a day, and I'll pay you back honestly tomorrow. And this locket, I gave it to others, and it feels weird to ask for it back. You don't want me to be looked at askew, do you? It was just a stream of excuses from Lana again. Lana, that was the last time you touched my stuff. Return the dress immediately and go get the locket. Still, Tiana ordered. You don't want them to find out the whole truth, do you? The guys probably don't even know that it wasn't you sitting at the piano back then and you stole the things. Also in front of everyone, the sister said. Tiana, we're sisters. What kind of harsh words are these? You're going to say stole? Lana was actually scared. Sisters was a word that had once meant so much to Tiana the one that had gotten the girl mutilated and killed. We're not sisters, not in this life. Either you give me my stuff back, or I tell you everything, Tiana told her. It was obvious that Lana was angry, but at the same time, she still went to change her clothes. To show her resentment towards her older sister, Lana pointed out that she would stop considering Tiana as her sister after this. Finally, finally in the girl's hands was the dress that really belonged to her. You're so respectful. Your mother died in front of you and you decided to take up dancing again? The sister also added. At this point, Xander beckoned Tiana to follow him. The girl came to Jacob's side. At that second, the main character's younger sister heard her being mocked behind her back. Ha ha, and what words were said recently, the dress is a unique handmade item in someone else's. The girls gossiped. Just then, Jacob held out the very same pendant to Tiana. If it's not yours... Why should I give it back to you? The boy asked. Lana, after all, had also come to get that piece of jewelry. However, model student, you can gamble on it if you want, Jacob then said suddenly. I, although I'm not burning with the desire to gamble or mess with Jacob, but the locket must be returned. The picture inside is my mom's, and I won't have them, laughing and playing with it. So, Tiana decided to clarify the terms of the game. The conditions were simple. There are two options, less, numbers from one to three, and more, four, five, six. If she guessed the numbers, Jacob would return the locket. If she loses, she buys him breakfast for a week. Bro, that doesn't seem fair. It's dice, and Tiana can't beat you at it, Xander whispered. The protagonist herself realized that she couldn't argue, or she would never get the medallion back. Only six digits, one-to-one -one odds. All you have to do is guess. Probability is equal. In the end, it all comes down to luck. So, Tiana decided to bet on less. And that's when their game began. Jacob seriously wondered about this medallion really being that important to her. Even though Tiana hates it, she's still willing to make a bet, and the guy could see that perfectly well. Now, after shaking the dice as soon as Jacob opened the lid, the first number was one. That meant that Tiana had won this time. Great! Everything went smoothly and we can go home with a clear conscience. Rejoiced the girl and quickly left his room. Damn, no way, to have a brother and blow it. How did one fall out, brother? How so? How could you lose? Xander marveled. Jacob himself didn't see anything strange about it. He lost, so he lost, no big deal. Now everyone was free to leave. At noon on Wednesday, the protagonist walked home from school, thinking only that today was the day she would have her eyes checked. Papa Shop couldn't accompany her to the hospital. In fact, Tiana was going to go alone, but Sean asked Ian to go with her. But Tiana hadn't really found the key to her stepbrother's heart. And so when they met, the girl told him that she could go by herself. But Jan couldn't leave her, because the guy was asked by his father. If he didn't go, the errand would be unfulfilled. And as the boys were walking together towards the hospital, Jacob, who was playing basketball, happened to notice them. They were passing together near the basketball court on a bus. Hey, that's Tiana. With a boyfriend? She has a boyfriend, really? A dutiful student has a boyfriend? Is that how it works? She's also got eye problems, no? Xander wondered. At that moment, Jacob ran toward the bus. He threw a rock through the back window of the bus, which Tiana noticed. 
It was obvious how angry the guy was. After my rebirth, I noticed for the first time that some small things began to change, but fate as a whole is still slowly moving off the beaten path. My eyes have recovered, though in my previous life it took another half a month to recover. Sounded in the mind of the protagonist of this story. That's right. In my previous life, Lana often threw out a variety of pranks, leading to my eyes getting an infection sooner or later. In this life, I didn't pay attention to her. I wore my glasses properly. That's why I recovered faster. My world was colored again. Tiana continued to rejoice, but her happiness didn't last long. But all the misfortunes in my life started happening just when my sight was restored. Tiana also knew. That said, the girl didn't want to give up. She should only accept her fate. Brother, have a hot drink, suggested Xander to Jacob, who was already very angry. It was then that the boy realized that everything Jacob had once said was true. His friends had begged him to keep on just hanging out, if that was all right with him. There was a chance that Jacob would just kill them all. Jacob really can't control his emotions. It's even hard to imagine what could have happened if the bus had stopped. Bro, your emotions are running wild, why don't you let me drive? Decided to suggest to his friend that day. But still, Jacob himself wanted to drive. Just as he was getting on the bike, he happened to see Charlotte, who was walking with another young man. She immediately approached her ex-boyfriend to explain herself. Jacob, listen, it's not at all what you think. We have an exam coming up. I was just returning the books I lent him earlier. She justified herself. Aren't relationships forbidden in your school? Then what is it? And what did you get caught up in it? Grades? Jacob didn't understand. The guy wouldn't even listen to Charlotte's explanation and just left. He was often confessed his love, but he always knew that most of those words were lies. Maybe she just decided not to deny companionship, or maybe she's not as shy as we thought. Spoke his thoughts to Xander. During midterm exams, the fifth group, after class, was asked to clean up the classroom and assign exam numbers to desks. Geez, Tiana, there are 30 desks. There's only seven of us. At the very least, each of us will have to drag more than four from the second floor to the fifth floor, and then we'd have to clean up the classroom. Just thinking about it makes me crazy. Nancy was indignant. But the dialogue between the two girls was interrupted by other classmates. They noticed in the window how Charlotte was talking to another student of the school named Will. The guy was handing over the notes that Jacob's ex-girlfriend had asked for. All right, let's get the desks moved soon. Sooner we start, sooner we finish. The protagonist didn't begin to focus her attention on that. After the girl had already carried her last desk, she noticed Jacob at her school. The guy immediately decided to help her, although the girl herself refused. Why would Jacob carry my desk for me? How am I going to explain this if someone sees us? We need to catch up and bring her back. Tiana decided. And when they were already on the right fifth floor, Jacob asked for the office number. At this point, the girl already wanted to bring the desk in herself, but the guy wouldn't let her and pushed the desk away from Tiana. While the man works, the woman watches silently. Since you don't want to talk, I'll just bypass all the classrooms with ports. It's easier that way, said the boy. Tiana herself thought that she would get in trouble if someone noticed them together, so she considered staying away from the guy. But when she went to the next office, Jacob grabbed her arm, preventing her from going. What are you planning? Don't want anyone to see us together? I'm not going to class anyway. I'll be waiting for you on the second floor stairs. Come on over, said Jacob. The guy also mentioned to the girl not to be stubborn. He will be waiting for her after all. And also, if she doesn't hurry up, he will come for her himself. Ah, I'm dying. Two whole more desks to go. This is an inhumane assignment. I can't feel my legs. Tiana, are you okay? Nancy's classmate complained about her fatigue. The girl herself didn't think about tiredness. All that was going through her mind was that she had to go to Jacob's meeting. If I decide not to come, Jacob will come, as is his nature. And if he comes here, he'll start a lot of rumors that will cause people to gossip about us in every corner of the school. No, that's definitely not allowed, the protagonist analyzed. Because of that, Tiana decided that since he liked carrying desks, let him do it to his heart's content. Don't worry, no one will see me. And be warned, if you're not here, the next place to look will be your classroom, said the kid. At this time, while Jacob was moving the desks, Tiana crouched down on the steps. She was thinking about the fact that while all the guys were working, 
she wasn't doing anything. The boy crept up on her unnoticed. Diligent student, got any more work to do? How do you plan on thanking me, schoolgirl? He decided to ask. Though Jacob made a joke, Tiana decided to point out that no one asked him to help her. It was his personal initiative. Though right after that, the protagonist thought about the fact that she shouldn't have said that. He's crazy, and he might kill her. Therefore, Tiana decided to buy him a drink and held out her pocket money. Do you want to pay me with a fiver? He asked with a smirk. That's not so little. You could buy a whole pack of delicious dumplings with that money. Tiana said sweetly then. But the guy confessed to her that he didn't need the money. Instead, he invited her to come to the basketball game Jacob would be attending on Friday. The offer surprised Tiana, but she couldn't say no already, could she? Although the girl had exams on Friday. That's okay, exams end before the third half comes around. You'll make it in time, especially since your school will be playing there as well. So you're obligated to come no matter who you'll be supporting. Jacob informed then. He really insisted that the schoolgirl attend the match. And so on Friday, when the midterms were over, the schoolgirls were discussing the answer choices on the test. By the way, this year's basketball competition will be held in the neighboring school. Let's go and watch, Nancy suggested. Tiana didn't want to get involved with Jacob again because he had invited her to come, but she didn't want to be in debt either. Jacob might get upset if she didn't come, especially after helping with the desks. So Tiana and her friends went to watch the basketball game at their neighboring school. She noticed Jacob right away. The kid's pretty good. And Jacob had a whole bunch of fans cheering for him too. But only one girl was important to the guy. Tiana, he was waiting for her. After the first half, Jacob went to substitute. Elizabeth immediately got up and brought him some water, but he just shooed her away. The boy kept thinking about the fact that Tiana was still gone, even though the midterms were long over. Even his friends noticed the depressed state Jacob was in. Bro, is everything okay? That was awesome. With his physical training to go through two rounds without a break and then in the middle of everything to go off again? Xander didn't understand. That's when his brother said it was time to go out. The score was already 24, 16 in their favor. But at this rate, the seventh school was going to beat them. Jacob is a really great player. Then another basketball player noticed Tiana in the crowd and told Jacob. The kid's mood immediately lifted, and Jacob decided to go play. But before he did, Jacob got a personal look at the girl he had been waiting to see at his game. Tiana was standing a couple of meters away from him, 